the Southern Engineering Company, based in Sub-Saharan Africa. SECO is playing a leading role in the establishment of the Lake Chukana Wind Power Project. Set in the remote north of Kenya, 700 kilometers from the capital, Nairobi. The project covers 40,000 acres of barren landscape. Expected to produce 310 megawatts through wind power. SECO was the first to break ground and are proud to be part of this development for Kenya's economic future. Welcome to Lake Tukana Wind Power Project. SECO is one of the only two Kenyan contractors in this project and has been the first contractor on the ground after one year. This is what we have done. SECO is responsible for creating all the initial civil works, the construction of the permanent support village, the workhouses and the warehouse. This is the heart of the project and where the wind farm will be managed from. Welcome, so we can show you what this project is all about. We are a Kenyan company and we've been in this country for more than three generations. So we are very excited to be part of this huge project, which is one of the largest projects of its kind in, in East Africa. When we first came here, it was tough because people didn't really know what to expect and what, what it means to work in such an uh, engineering working environment. And we had to go through a huge a learning curve to teach people what to do, how to do. We ourselves employ more than 500 people from the local community. All over there's about 2,000 people employed and this is a more than a 15 years project. So I think it's just great for the local community. I think it's bringing them a lot of knowledge and they're very excited about that. And the scope of works basically providing a, 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 a fully functional wind farm. That includes the scope behind us, which is a village, which will consist of the nerve center of the project, meaning that um, all operational will be monitored from here. The village will also house about 200, 150 to 200 people during the construction phase of the project, and about 40 people after the project for, for operational facilities. Uh, it's a massive project. Uh, there's going to be 365 wind turbines which will comprise of a total of about 310 megawatt um, electricity. It's going to provide roughly 20% of um, electricity for Kenya in the future. With that obviously comes some job opportunities and uh, those are the main factors. Major challenges is one is the project characteristics. We are in a wind farm project and we have a very high wind of 25 meter per second hour 24 hours and 365 days. For that, we have what we have done is the design of the roof. It is done for mainly for uplift pressure of the wind. So that is one concern we have taken into. And mainly what we have done for the roof installation is with the help of crane instead of manually doing it. Second thing is we are in a volcanic a rocks area where we have a very hard rocks in the place and major challenge was for the excavation for reticulation works. For that we have mobilized our drum cutter which is with the diamond tips. Remoteness of the project which is 700 km from Nairobi and which will take a truck to reach at least one week. Any trucks if we leave from Nairobi it passed through areas where there is no road network there is no telecommunication network. Once it leaves the Nairobi and pass Merile, we are now have to sit and wait until it reaches. What we have done, we will have a one month look ahead procurement plan. So what we require for the next month, we will plan for this month itself. So that there is no any problem in that area. I call it rather than a challenge, it was been experience. And that experience was very important for us. As of today, we have brought more than 300 truckloads of material into this project. For SECO, the project was been challenging initially. Basic challenge was grouping almost 400 Kenyan workforce in the, in the middle of a desert. How 
we managed to do this, our experience. The logistic experience is a lot behind us. So that made us successful in this project. My name is Caleb Dungu. I'm a quality engineer. This is the lab that takes care of all the construction activities and tests. We do uh, concrete tests whereby we start from the batching time. In the first batch, we sample some concrete. We cast cubes. After a day, we start curing, uh, of course, immersed in water for about seven days. From there, we do the crushing at seven days and 28 days to determine the strength at the end of seven days and the strength at 28 days. That way, we will be guaranteed that whatever we've done on site is good. Major scope of works involved is, is the getting of water to the whole site, which uh, we do get from the boreholes, which are drilled three kilometers away. The borehole has, has been pumped using uh, through pipes up to the lid hull hill tank, which is around two, two million cubic meters, coming down to the village block A to supply water to the accommodation units, the workshops, the medical facilities, and all other ancillary buildings. SECO is continually supporting and empowering the local community by both employing and training them on this project. The right use of PPE, for PPE meaning that uh, every individual that is working here with us is uh, given the right PPE, protective equipment for the right job. In an organization or a company that has uh, more than 400 employees on site doing all different sort of works and whereby uh, we have so many work that we consider to be high of high risk. It's an achievement on our side as a health and safety department to record zero injuries on site and that has really made us proud of our work here. Today we are testing the three overhead cranes fitted in this go down, which are identical and having the capacity 10 tons each. We enjoy the job and we have good experience with the SECO and SECO have before also a lot of the, the so many projects in the East African uh, the countries. But this is also our major project, the infrastructure development, the LTWP, the wind power project. And uh, we are finishing the time, time schedule and the team effort and teamwork. That is a great job we done here. That is the experience and is a great job for this country and this local community. We've been able to recruit from the Rocco Reba Force 250 people and uh, I believe this project has really changed the, the, this area. And the Rocco's now they know everything and I'm glad that they have been able to learn from us. Some of them we have even promoted them to be supervisors. My job as a community liaison officer is mostly on local employees that we have employed as the company. I really appreciate this chance that I've, I've been given by the company because they have given us a chance at least to bring our diverse community with a diverse culture together. Coming from different localities, bringing them together was a little bit hard, but right now they are really perfect. To me, they are the best employees that we have right now. Working with SEGO has been a great experience. I've gained, I've got some experience what I've been looking for and I'm happy to be associated with SEGO. I'm very happy to work with SEGO and also to be associated with this project that is of national interest. I'm happy about them because even most of our people have achieved more skills in working here at SEGO and actually when they go, when SEGO goes out of here, many people have got knowledge and skills to work for themselves. As well as the civil and mechanical divisions, SECO has a camp management division which is specialized in fully mobile containerized units. 
built in their own factories, these units service the needs of the energy, mining, oil and gas industries. Seco's attention to detail is paramount for their continued success. All these contractors, when they came in, they had to rely on Seco as the established company on the ground. Satisfying the needs of international clients, satisfying the needs of local community, satisfying the needs of Kenyan, Indian, Israeli, all the mix of the people in terms of food, in terms of their accommodation. We specialize in accommodation, workshops, recreation, offices, and kitchen units. At the Lake Chukana Wind Power Project, the logistics of feeding 400 people a day are handled with ease. the camps and hospitality. It's a new area for us that we are developing. Yeah, it's challenging, but it's, it's great.